Hello everyone and welcome to another Flight Simulator Steam Edition tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to be showing you how to use the GPS for um, flight planning as well as approaches. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to up here to view and then go to GPS and you're going to see obviously um, um, the GPS and it will show you airports within a close proximity and whatnot. So for flight planning if you're up in the air and you want to go to a specific airport you'll press this button and then um, you'll see there's two separate dials here if you press the second one um, from here you can type in the uh, the ICAO code to the airport that you would like to fly to so in my instance it's going to be CNB9 and then I'm going to press enter enter activate and as you can see that pink line formed directly to the airport I want to go to so if that's as far as you wanted to take it and you just want to purely make the autopilot take you to that airport, um, you can take your GPS down like that and make sure you switch this button from navigation to GPS by pressing it and then press your nav hold button with your autopilot on and as you can see the airplane is now turning around and heading towards um, the airport that I plugged into the GPS. So there's you can take it a step further than that and if you want the autopilot to line you up on an approach with that airport you can go back into your GPS press this button here and it'll say select approach and you press enter and these are the approaches it's giving us. It's giving a GPS for runway 10 and an RNAV for runway 10 and a VOR for A and I'm not exactly sure what that means. So anyways we're going to select the GPS 10 and we're going to hit enter and we're going to hit enter on vectors and then we're going to say load so it's going to just show us um, the route that it wants us to take. By the way, this over here in the left side of the screen is the airport we're going to. And from here, if we hit this button again, it'll say activate vectors to final. We press enter and you'll see that the um, airplane will actually put itself on um, it'll actually line itself up for that runway that you selected in the um, in the GPS there. So like I say we did a GPS approach for runway 10 so it's going to line us up for runway, runway 10. And you can take your GPS off and um, we will take the altitude down to a thousand slow it down a bit drop a notch of flaps and as you can see the GPS is now lining us up for um, for runway 10 as we selected in the GPS and I believe that let me take off the altitude hold for a second it looks like the GPS is also controlling our altitude to um, put us on a glide slope for this runway. So it's basically um, very similar to uh, an ILS approach except for I believe it's just not quite as um, precise as a ILS. Actually Never mind, it's not controlling altitude. You have to control the altitude yourself. I didn't think that it did, but 
So we're lined up and we can now take the um, autopilot off since we have sight of the runway and just bring it in manually. So you could use this if you were flying in low visibility and you wanted to set yourself up on an approach to the runway and just um, turn off your autopilot once you have um, sight of the runway. And there it is. Um, so there was my tutorial of how to use the GPS in Flight Simulator X Steam Edition. And um, if you guys have any video suggestions that you would like to see, please feel free to comment in the comment section and I will try and get around to making those videos. And if you're looking forward to seeing more, be sure to like, subscribe, and if you just have any general comments, please don't be afraid to comment either. Thanks for watching.